Today we're talking about testosterone, and if you want better levels, you gotta do it the right way. There's a lot of trash out there, guys, on supplements to take for testosterone boosting for men and women, and if you don't wanna do testosterone replacement, you need to know the truth. And what is that? There's just three supplements that I would recommend to actually move the needle on your testosterone levels. And if they don't work for you, it's time to talk to a professional and get things moving in the right direction because that's the whole point, right? And why should you trust me? Because I've tested and treated hundreds of men and women for testosterone and other hormones for over five years now. And the goal of this video today is to talk to you about the three supplements that actually work. This is coming from peer reviewed data. This is coming from real world, real life, things that I've seen, no fluff. And I'll tell you the truth. Most testosterone boosting supplements are full of pixie dust. They either don't work at all or the doses in them of the things that actually work are too small to make any difference. And so this is why you need to watch this video so that you know what those three supplements are and the amounts that you need to take them in in order to get the results. Okay, let's start with one of the most fascinating supplements in my opinion. I kept trying to figure out why we started using this for testosterone boosting and it comes down to the fact that it seeps out of the Himalayan mountains and after decomposition it's rich in minerals and was used in Ayurvedic medicine to boost vitality and libido and strength. I mean the stories are interesting but basically we've done a few studies on using shilajit to see if it increased testosterone testosterone and lo and behold it actually does up to 20% in men now they haven't done any research in women but women do take it and a lot of them report better mood energy workouts things like that which kind of go hand in hand with testosterone so women do try it. I think it's worth a try if you're trying to boost your testosterone levels. Now, there's a big caveat to Shilajit. Get something that's very pure, so you have to get a reputable supplement company that's making it because it can be heavily contaminated with heavy metals if it's not purified properly, so just get it from a reputable source. The dose of Shilajit, 250 milligrams twice daily. Take it for three months and then see where you're at. If it doesn't do anything after that, nix it. Number two, this is one that you've probably heard of. It's in almost every testosterone boosting supplement known to man, and that's because it works. You just have to get the right dose. This one comes from Southeast Asian medicine. Again, it was used all the time as a vitality booster in men, and so we started researching it for its ability to boost testosterone. The dose that you want to take of Tonga Ali is one to 200 milligrams a day. Again, take it for about three months and see where you're at. And Tonga Ali is actually really cool because it's also been shown to lower cholesterol or <laughs> lower cortisol. So you get a double bonus there because a lot of people are stressed out. Stress leads to low testosterone and lowering your cortisol can help with that. Now this next one is kind of debated heavily because a lot of people think it doesn't work at all. And then there's people like me who think it does because I've seen it many times in real life. And so I can't discount this. D-H-E-A, dihydro, I don't know. Now D-H-E-A is a precursor hormone in your body. So it's one of the upstream hormones that lead to increases of testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. And if we're talking about testosterone specifically, they've actually done a trial in women where they'll take 25 to 50 milligrams of DHEA daily and their testosterone levels will go up as much as 50 points. I've seen it take a man's testosterone from 200 to 500. I've seen it take a woman's testosterone from 13 to 40, which is a lot. Now it doesn't always work. I've seen it do nothing too, but it's worth a try. Again, take it for two or three months, see what the outcome is. And if it's not doing anything, talk to a professional. Now there's a lot that I didn't talk about today and there's honorable mentions for things like ashwagandha and fenugreek and boron. There's a ton of other things out there, but the ones that I talked about are the ones that I've actually seen move the needle in people. And I've talked to so many people who have tried so many different things and sometimes nothing works and that's okay. Maybe you do need to talk about testosterone replacement. I have a video about that but I completely understand wanting to do things the most natural way possible before you give in and take a prescription medication. But all in all, what does this mean for you? If you're a man in specific, Tonga Ali and Shilaji are gonna be your best ones to try first. If you're a woman, DHEA is gonna be the one for you to try first. I think you should try one at a time to understand what's really working, but that's just personal opinion. And remember, if your stress, your sleep, your diet are not dialed in, your testosterone levels are gonna be low. And so just keep that in mind. And sometimes if you try to take a supplement to override those things, it doesn't work out in your favor. If you found this video helpful, hit like for me and subscribe to the channel if you wanna hear more from a doctor who doesn't take insurance and talks about the things that most people wanna talk about versus your insurance companies. That's called direct primary care. If you have any questions about it, there's a link in my description and you guys have a good day.